Good morning, guys. Good morning. And uh, as you climb on this morning with us for another morning of prayer. And uh, good morning, good morning. Good to see you. Good to be with you. And uh, good to just spend or start another week, start another day in prayer. So as you guys are climbing on, just going to give them a moment or so. Good morning, good morning. Just take a moment, guys. You can greet and um, greet everybody as we're climbing on, as we're jumping on right now. And uh, good morning, guys. Just going to wait a second or so. And uh, good morning, good morning. Today, as we're, gonna, as we're going to pray, we're going to very specifically jump into our identity in Christ. So as, as we pray this morning, I want us just to, uh, we're going to go into our identity in the Lord. And um, that uh, as you climb on and as we enjoy that, just our identity in the Lord. And that's where we're going to go to. So I want to encourage you as we're going to step into prayer this morning that you come alongside us and that we be bold in our prayers and in our declarations. Amen. So, um, good morning again, I say. Just take a moment, guys. Greet everybody that's online and uh, with us in this uh, time of prayer this morning. And it's good to be with you. It's good to see you. Uh, it's good to spend some time with you again in prayer this morning. You know, it's a blessing to be together. It's a blessing to pray. It's a blessing to seek the Lord's face. Uh, we saw the Lord work uh, over this weekend in many, many places and I feel encouraged. So as we go into the Word this morning, there's certain things I, I felt the Lord just gave me last night and um, that I want us to speak out, to declare out. And again, for people that are joining us for the first time, why do we, why do we pray by declaration or the specific style of prayer? Very simply because the Bible says, I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. It's plans to harm you and to prosper you, make you the head, not the tail, above and not beneath. God has got a plan and He declares it. He makes it known, in other words. So he, He's making known what He wants for you. He's making known what He wants of your life. And this morning, I want you to understand that the Word of the Lord remains our final authority. Above all else, the Word of God is the final authority. Um, it doesn't matter what our circumstances say. It doesn't matter what the current situation are saying. Uh, or a certain climates are speaking towards us, or even friends or family members. What, what matters absolutely the most is that what the Word of the Lord is declaring over your life. This is who you are, the Word of the Lord. You are God's Word over your life. I just want to say that again. You are God's Word over your life. And as we start this morning, I want to encourage you and ask you, uh, please share the stream as I always like to do. Uh, please share the stream of like five people, ten people, Get it out to people. Say, hey, come and join me this morning in prayer. Come and join me this morning uh, as we seek the Lord's face. Come and join me this day as we pray. Uh, many are the plans of a man's heart, but it's the purpose of the Lord that prevails. And God definitely has a purpose for our lives. So again, guys, just share it. Get it out to other people and um, get them into it. And let me greet also some of the guys. Good morning. Uh, good morning, Bianca, Rochelle. Renika, Peggy, uh, good morning guys, uh, good morning Wendy, they're out of Cape Town, good morning guys, good morning Bronwyn, uh, good morning, T hey how's it Tanya, Tanya and Ernest, and um, so what I want to ask again, get it out to people, tag five people into this time of prayer, we're going to have a good time of prayer this morning, and as we get into it, I want us to be bold. So, Father, thank you that we can come to you this morning. Lord, blessed be the name of the Lord our God. Lord, thank you for Jesus, first and foremost. Father, thank you that there's power in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, there's power in the Holy Spirit that lives inside of us. Father, thank you. In this day, we can be bold. We can be declarative. Father, thank you that we can say in this day, Lord, that truly it is so, that greater is He that's within me than he that's within this world. Father, thank you that your anointing is upon me. Father, thank you that you make my cup run over in the presence of my enemy. Thank you, Father, that in this day we can come to your throne of grace boldly in our time of need. And Father, thank you that you are the God that answers prayer. And Father, I thank you that as we step into prayer this morning, that we can do so boldly. Father, I want to pray first and foremost 
Father, for a spirit of reconciliation to come upon people. Father, I want to thank you that you are doing a new thing in many, many families. And even this morning, Lord, I want to declare that over families in Jesus Christ's name. Lord, that favor shall come and rest upon families afresh and anew in Jesus Christ's name. Father, as you shared with me this morning, I want to pray, Lord, that great healing shall come to families in Jesus' name. Father, I pray for husbands to find their rightful place. I pray for wives to find their rightful place. Lord, I pray for children to be reconciled back to you in this day in Jesus Christ's name. Lord, we declare and we speak over every family in this day that they shall enter a great season of peace, joy and righteousness, which is the fruits of the kingdom. Father, I want to thank you, Lord. I, I feel to pray that again, Lord, that there is such a beauty of reconciliation that the Lord is entering people into. And Father, thank you for it. Lord, thank you that we can declare this morning. And I want you to say this with me. Father, thank you that my prayers are powerful and they are effective. James 5, verse number 16. Father, thank you that we can declare this morning that my prayers are powerful and they are effective. Thank you, Father, that we can speak out this morning that we all have received the ministry of reconciliation. The ministry of reconciliation. I want you to say, declare that 2 Corinthians 5.21. I've received the ministry of reconciliation. Thank you, Father, that this morning we can speak out of a people's life. It is God that richly blesses and supplies all my needs according to Christ Jesus. Philippians 4.19. Father, I want to pray in this morning. Lord, that it is true over every single person that is in the stream this morning. Lord, that they will walk in increasing, ever-increasing health in Jesus Christ's name. Father, I want to pray that in this day we want to speak out over their lives. Lord, that every weapon formed against them shall not prosper. Weapons may form, but they shall not be effective as the Lord their God is the healer. Father, we want to remind you this morning that you have a covenant of health with us, that you are Jehovah Rapha, the one that heals us of all our diseases, the one that cleanses us of all our iniquities in Jesus Christ's name. Father, thank you that we can say that Lord, I am a temple of the Most High God. I'm a carrier of the presence of the Lord. And because I'm a carrier of the presence of the Lord, Father, no sickness will draw near to my house. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Father, thank you that while I say that, we can say as I 53, that it's by the stripes of Jesus Christ that there's complete healing in Jesus Christ's name. This morning, I feel to say over every single person that's on here with me this morning, I pray that right now, that every form of sickness, every form of disease will simply dry up and fall out. Father, I want to pray in this morning, Lord, we worship you. Lord, I want to pray that our hunger will be stirred deep within our hearts, Lord. Lord, as the Spirit is crying out, the deep is crying out unto the deep, Lord. Father, I want to pray this morning, Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, that we will understand and we will know, Lord, that there's a new dimension of depth that you are calling out unto us in this day, in Jesus Christ's name. I want you to declare this morning for me very, very, very simply. The Bible says in Luke 2.52 that you will prosper in all your relationships. I want you to declare that, save me, I will prosper in all my relationships in Jesus Christ's name. I will prosper in my family. I will prosper with my friends. I will prosper in the workplace. I will prosper in every single relationship I have in Jesus Christ's name. Just as, come on guys, let's just put that out there. Then, I want us to say this, the following. I laugh when I hear the lies and the plans of the enemy. That's Psalm chapter number 2, verse number 2 to 4. I laugh when I hear the, the lies and the plans of the enemy, for they will not be successful. Father, thank you that we can say in this morning, I cannot be defeated. Romans chapter number 8 and verse number 37. Lord, thank you that we can say this morning, nothing can separate me from the great love of God. Romans 8, 37 to 39. Uh, it is God that is my fortress. It is God that is my strength. It is God that answers me when I call Psalm chapter number 91. I will, oh hallelujah, I will bear fruit in my old age. Father, I want to pray this morning. It comes into my spirit. Lord, I thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord, that they where people have made plans before you, 
Father, we want to pray this morning that there shall be divine acceleration, Lord, that comes upon people in Jesus Christ's name. Father, I pray that it's almost like, Lord, this morning as I sit here, Father, I pray that every trap that the enemy has tried to lay for the people of God, that the enemy himself will fall into the trap. But Lord, that the people of God shall be free and shall be whole in Jesus' name. I want you, there we are, I want you to say with me, just very simply this. Every weapon, every weapon formed against me shall not prosper in Jesus Christ's name. It shall fail and it shall fail time and time again. I want you to say that, save me. Every weapon formed against me shall not prosper, but it shall fail time and time again. Say with me this morning, according to 2 Peter, chapter number 1, verse number 2 and 4. I am an overcomer. I am an overcomer. In all things I shall overcome. Save me again. In all things I shall overcome. I shall overcome by day. I shall overcome by night. There shall be nothing in my life that I shall not overcome. Save me this morning. There is no temptation to which I will enter into, to which the Lord will not lead me out. Every temptation I will be led out successfully in Jesus Christ's name. Say with me this morning, I can do all things. I can do all things. So it's a power saying, guys, Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And Father, I want to speak that out of a people. Lord, that they, they were this tiredness. They were people's uh, bodies might not feel optimum right now. Lord, I want to pray right now that strength will come to their bodies in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to thank you, Father, that fresh strength, fresh joy, save me the fresh joy shall come to me. Fresh joy shall come to me. Fresh joy shall come to me. Borabakata to be under a bokora bakata to be under a ribetera bokora bakata to be under a bokora bakata to be under a bushtere ribetera bushtera bakata to be under a fresh joy. Borabakata to be under a bokora bakata to be under a. Now say just with me, I decree in the remaining weeks and months of this year, God will answer me and I will see breakthrough upon breakthrough in Jesus Christ's name. Just want you to say that again. Say, I decree. In the remaining weeks and months of this year, I will see the answer of the Lord and breakthrough upon breakthrough shall be caused upon my life in Jesus Christ's name. I decree that the devourer will not consume any blessing in Jesus Christ's name. I decree, listen to me again, I decree in the remainder of this year, the favor of the Lord, the peace of God shall be upon my life. I thank you, Lord, for fresh joy. I thank you, Lord, for fresh peace. I thank you, Lord, for fresh health upon my body in Jesus Christ's name. Now say with me, say, Lord, thank you that in this day I am a child of, child of the Most High God. 1 John chapter 3, verse number 1 and 2. Save me if God is for me. I want you to be bold about this. If God is for me, who can be against me? If the Lord is for me, who can be against me? Father, right now, Lord, I want to prophesy, I want to speak over people's lives, Lord, that wherever there has been in any way, Father, I feel this so strong in my spirit, Lord, wherever there has been weapons that have been formed, Father, we speak against these weapons in this day in Jesus Christ's name. I thank you, Lord, that the enemy shall fail against the people of God. Father, there where there's been anxiety, there where there's been fear, there where there's been depression, there where there's been thoughts of confusion. Lord, we come against these in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And Father, we break these and we say, remember the word of the Lord. Take your thought captive to the obedience of Christ and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of the Lord. May it come into captivity. And do that today, guys. Take your thoughts captive. Bring them into submission. Bring them into captivity in Jesus Christ's name. Father, thank you that we can declare in this day, it is the Lord that is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down in pastures green. He leads me beside still waters. He makes my cup overflow in the presence of my enemies. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for thy rod and thy staff, it comforts me. 
Though a thousand may fall on my left hand side and ten thousand on my right hand side, it shall not draw near unto me. For I will know the Lord my God and I shall be known. For the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. For the Lord has anointed me to be a messenger for those that are in need of the good news. The Lord has empowered me by His Spirit to, break, to, uh, to heal the brokenhearted, to come and preach liberty to the captives, to heal the blind, to set them free, and to bring them salvation through Jesus Christ. In this day, I declare that me and my house, we will serve the Lord our God. We will serve the way which is Christ Jesus. We will serve the truth which is the word of the Lord. And we shall be followers of Jesus the Christ who is the Savior of the world. We will not be intimidated by day, nor will we be intimidated by night. We will not be intimidated by what the enemy does, nor what the enemy says. We will not have the fear of man upon us, nor the fear of circumstances, nor the fear of the future. For we serve the God of yesterday, today and forevermore, who changes not, who is the same all the days of my life. I will dwell in the house of the Lord and I shall know the goodness of God. There shall be fresh fire that shall come upon my life in this day. I will carry the fire of God. I will carry the fire of the Holy Spirit. I will carry the fire of God in my mouth, in my hands, and I will be a, 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 a healer and I'll be healing people through the power of the Holy Spirit residing upon me. Come on guys, I want you just to say that. Father, I thank you that you cleanse us, uh, cleanse us from all our sin. Father, we come this morning. We repent of our sins, Lord. We submit to you, O oh God, and we resist the devil. May he flee away from us time and time again. Father, thank you that we can say in this day, Lord, that weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Father, thank you that we can say in this day that we have been redeemed by the curse of the Lord. Thank you, Father, that it is so, Lord Jesus, that every time, every time, Lord, Lord, the enemy has stolen in one way, it shall be restored in seven ways. In Jesus Christ's name, I am the head and I'm not the tail. And I thank you, my God, that you've made me who I am. I am who you say I am. I can do what you say I can do. I can be who you can say I can be. I will not listen to the voice of labels nor suggestions. I am a child of the Most High God. I am royalty by blood. I am a royal priesthood. I am set aside by God for a specific purpose. I will not live a life of mundaneness. I will not live a life of lack. I will not live a life of sickness. I will not live a life of trepidation. I will not submit to fear. I will not, for I am a child of the Most High God. Guys, I want you to be bold about that this morning. I want you to have a fire in your hearts when we say these things, because we shall not be intimidated. We are who we say, He says we are. We are nothing more and nothing less. We are the Lord's children, and more than that, we are sons and daughters of the Most High God. I can declare in this day, Jeremiah 32, verse 27, there's nothing to heart for my God. I will see the Lord as the breaker. I will see the Lord as the one that breaks open a new day, a fresh day in Jesus Christ's name. Say with me now, it is my God that does exceedingly, abundantly, above. I will have it shaken down, pressed together and running over into my midst in Jesus Christ's name. I will experience the presence of the Lord. I want you to say that guys, declare that with me, save me. I will experience the presence of the Lord. I will experience the presence of the Lord. I will not be shaken. Save me. I will not be shaken because I can put my trust in the Lord my God. Psalm verses number 30, Psalm chapter number 37. Say with me, it is the Lord that keeps me. It is the Lord that upholds me. It is the Lord that safeguards me. It is the Lord that makes my feet not to stumble in this perverse generation. Jude 24, 25. For we will not run after wicked things. I want you to say that. Save me. We will not run after wicked things. Our allegiance is to the Lord our God. 
We will not be full of sin. We will not allow sin to come into our hearts, nor meditate upon sinfulness, nor meditate on the things of this world. For we have died to Christ, and now I want to live for Him, now and forevermore. Say that with me, guys. I am dead to this world. I'm dead to the things of this world. I'm dead to the spirit of this world. And I'm alive for Christ Jesus. The life I now live, I live by faith in the Son of God who died for me and now is living for me. It is the Christ that is within me that is the hope of glory. I am perfectly positioned. Declare that with me. I'm perfectly positioned to be used by the Lord for His name's sake. I'm perfectly positioned to advance and to be prosperous in all things, in all ways, in Jesus Christ's name. I'm convinced, say it with me, I'm convinced beyond the shadow of a doubt that God has a perfect timing concerning my life and that He has perfect knowledge concerning me. Isaiah 55 verse number 89 says that, Save me, I declare that past disappointments and hurts are, are arrested and bound in the name of Jesus Christ. That's Psalm 34 and verse number 19. Save me, I'm not ashamed of the gospel. Oh, hallelujah this you need to shout out there we are i'm not ashamed of the gospel of the lord jesus christ i'm not ashamed and father this morning right now lord as i feel the spirit of the lord coming upon me father i want to declare over households right now there with these patterns there with these mean cycles there where the enemy has tried to get a foothold and remain established that right now lord we break off every every foothold and pattern in the name of the lord jesus christ Father, I pray there where there has been, Lord, whatever the enemy has tried to cause, Lord, I see many things, Lord, but I pray this morning, that houses shall know the peace of God. Father, I pray for children, Lord, I see children that are not home. And if that's your child, I want you just to comment it this morning. I want you to be bold about this. Father, we declare that children shall come home. We declare that children shall know the Lord our God. We declare that children shall not inherit the gates of our enemies, Lord. But that the children will inherit the gates of our enemies and they will be more prosperous than what we have been. Father, I thank you, Lord, that I'm called the beloved of God, that my name is written in the book of life. I'm known by God. I'm known by the Lord. I'm known by the Lord. Lord, thank you, Lord, this morning. Declare with me, through all generations, I will know the faithfulness of the Lord. I will know His favor and I will know His face. I will know His beauty and I will know His splendor, as my name is written in His book of life. I'll be a recipient of grace. I'll be a recipient of mercy. I'll be a recipient of justice. I'll be a recipient of a person that can say, truly it is so. The Lord has heard me, and the Lord has been kind towards me. Come on guys, I want us just to say that. Father, I want to speak out over people's lives this morning. Say with me, I'm living under an open heaven. I'm living under an open heaven. Hallelujah. I'm living under an open heaven. Save me this morning. I have the wisdom of God. I have the wisdom of God. James 1, 5 to 8. Save me. I have the wisdom of God. I have the divine insight. Deuteronomy 8, verse number 18. Save me. I have authority through Jesus Christ. Luke chapter number 10, verse number 19. Declare with me this morning. Say, I have all power and authority has been given to Jesus Christ. I have received power through the person of the Holy Spirit. I've received authority by relationship of Jesus Christ. But I'm walking in power and authority. Save me. Deuteronomy chapter number 28, verse number 13. One of my favorite scriptures in the Bible. Say, I'm always at the top and never at the bottom. I'm always at the top and never at the bottom. God has given me the ability to produce great wealth. Say that with me. Deuteronomy 8 verse number 18, by the way. God has given me the ability to produce great wealth. I have divine ideas and I have divine strategies 
in Jesus Christ's name. Father, I want to thank you, Lord, that this is to be so in Jesus Christ's name. Father, we declare that we receive that by faith in Jesus' name. Now, I want us to move uh, with acceleration to the next dimensions. And as we go there, guys, I want you to, I want to encourage you to share this broadcast. Get it out to people. Um, I pray that you just share this morning. Get it out to other guys because it's so important uh, what we are saying today. And I pray that as we pray today that there, or as we declare today that there's a stirring in your heart, that uh, there's a stirring of life inside of you because literally we're just going through Scripture and we're just declaring Scripture this morning. So I really want to encourage you again. Get it out to other people. Send it to people. Say, guys, here. Yeah. So let's go for the, the ones. I've got 10, 10 declarations that I feel the Lord just very specifically gave me this morning um, for you. First one, I declare, and say that with me, I declare that I will see divine acceleration in my family in Jesus' name. I declare that I will see divine acceleration in my family in Jesus Christ's name. Very important. Let's declare that. I will see divine acceleration in my family in Jesus' name. Secondly, I declare that my finances shall increase and promotion will come to me in Jesus' name. Just want us to say that. I declare that finances shall increase and promotion will come to me in Jesus' name. Third one, save me. I declare that new contracts will be released in my name and debt will not be my portion. For all the business people that are on here, I declare that new contracts shall be released in my name, in your business name, whatever contracts it is, and debt will not be my portion. I want you to say that debt will not be my portion. I will not be broke. I will not be in debt. Listen, we don't, we don't need to receive it. It's a, it's a curse from the enemy. Uh, I will not be in debt. Debt will not be my portion. Fourth one, I decree, I decree, that all sins will not determine my future as there is no more condemnation in Christ Jesus. I want you to say that I am no longer known according to my old sins. Guys, there's so many people that need to say that. I, I, will, not, I will not be known according to my old sins. Business people, I want to say to you as, I, as I'm here, every business, that is, every business that is linked to this church, every business person that's on this line this morning, I speak of your business that you will end this business month in the next five days that acceleration shall come upon your business that you will know that the hand of the Lord is upon you. Father, I want to thank you, Lord, as I'm there, Lord, on my point, but I, I feel just to say that, that business people, you will sign new deals, you will sign contracts, and that that you couldn't do before, you shall start to do now in Jesus Christ's name. We are to say this and to be bold about this. We shall not be a people that will not know who we are. We know who we are. And I want to say over every business person that is here, you are positioned for favor in Jesus Christ's name. And Father, right now, Lord, as I stretch my hand out to the business people, Lord, I speak out over their lives, Lord, just a single sentence, that they are positioned for favor in Jesus Christ's name. And we will see five days of unusual acceleration. Father, and as I speak that out over their lives, as I prophesy that into being, and Lord, even over this next cycle, Lord, I thank you that every Christian business shall know acceleration in Jesus Christ's name. The days of begging has come to an end. For shall the righteous beg for bread? Shall the righteous not have enough? No, it is not so. It's unbiblical. And Father, I want to thank you that I can declare that over business people in this day in Jesus Christ's name. Fifth one, I want you to say with me, I declare that I will gain new peace with all enemies, hallelujah, I will gain new peace with all enemies and restoration shall come to my family in abundance in Jesus Christ's name. Say that just with me, I declare that I will gain new peace with all enemies and restoration will come to me and my family in Jesus Christ's name. There are people on this line this morning, Satan has been telling you that your days are going to be short. Satan has been telling you that somehow sickness is going to rob you of the days and the destiny that the Lord has for you. I'm here to tell you the devil is a liar. You will live out your purpose. You will live out your purpose. And sickness will not be the portion that ends the road and ends the destiny in Jesus Christ's name. Then I declare, listen to me, I declare that I will have favor and gain favor both in the eyes of man and God. Oh, hallelujah. 
say that again with me. So I declare that I will have favor and gain favor with both God and man in Jesus Christ's name. Listen, Jesus grew in favor of man and God, so declare that. So I declare that I will have favor and gain favor both in the eyes of man and God in Jesus Christ's name. Then, seventh one, I declare that my marriage and my children shall know the Lord and shall be saved. Say that with me, guys. Let's be bold about this. Say, I declare that my marriage and my children shall know the Lord and shall be saved. And let's go further. That every family member shall be saved in Jesus Christ's name. Not one family member shall be lost. In other, in other words, what I want to do this morning, let's go there quickly. If you have a family member that is not born again, throw up their names for us. Let's go for that, guys. Let's beat the devil in the face this morning. <laughs> let's, let's take these family members back this morning. Let's take them back this morning. The Bible says, John 6, 63, that it's the Spirit of the Lord that works with family members and brings them into the household of God. And so if you have any family member that are not born again, I want you to throw up their names quickly. Uh, and we've got three more to, to go. And then I'm going to pray for you and uh, just tell you where we're going to go. But family members, if you have family members that are not born again, I want you to, to put up their names quickly. Go. Throw them up, guys. Tag them into this. I'll pray for them if you tag them. Um, whatever. But uh, let's go for it. Because family members must be saved, man. We are saved. We are born again. The Bible declares He saves our families because of us. Come on. If God can save a city because of one lady that was found just. Can you not imagine what the Lord can do because you serve the Lord? So let's trust Jesus. Let's say, hey, Lord, here we are. Here's our family members. We're trusting you for them. In Jesus' name. Come on, throw them up, guys. I'm seeing the names. Uh, put them up. Come on. Let's be bold. You know, uh, you must never stop. Never stop praying for your family members. Never. I see Emmanuel Zwane coming out. Keegan Pillay. Uh, come on, guys. Post them. Go, go, go. Uh, Reverend Peterson. Wells, the Wells family. Uh, let's just post them. I, I want you to let them put their names up this morning. That we can trust the Lord. Listen, if God can heal people, uh, we have seen the Lord heal people, save people, redeem people in, an, in astounding ways. And so, uh, there's the names. Thank you. Charles, Conrad, Lynn, Ronnie, uh, Hallelujah, Marcel, Cristal, Philip, Maurice Jonker, Audrey Oppermann, Bobby Jonker, uh, Neil Clausen. Uh, come guys, put those names up. Jan Niemann. Just, just post them quickly. Father, I want to pray for every family name that runs onto the screen right now. And I want you there to agree with me. Name them as, as, you, as you want them to be named. Call their names out. And let's pray together. Father, thank you that right now I can pray over every family member. Lord, every name that is written now. Father, I want to thank you that salvation shall come to them in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray that they shall not, that they shall not know destruction that they will not know death, that they will not die without knowing the Lord. Father, we want to pray over them in this day, Jesus, that you'll have great compassion over them. Father, I want to pray, Lord God, I see many sons and daughters astray. And Father, I want to pray this morning, Lord Jesus, Lord, that you will save them, Lord, in Jesus Christ's name. Father, have great compassion upon them, Lord, that they may know you, my God. Father, we pray for them in this day. We call them in by name and we say to them, you shall be saved and you shall know the Lord your God. You shall turn back to the ways of righteousness. You shall walk in truth. You shall walk in light. Satan, we bind you and we rebuke you over their lives in this day in Jesus Christ's name. And Father, I want to speak out of great urgency that they will know the Lord their God and they will serve no other in Jesus Christ's name. Father, I pray, Lord, be merciful, Jesus. Be merciful. Father, I can see so many sons and daughters that have been hurt so greatly, Lord. So many children that are strayed and that don't know you. And Lord, I want to pray, Lord, that it will not be so. That people will know the Lord, Lord, as time is running, Jesus. I pray, Father, we pray and we call out for our families in this day. In Jesus Christ's name, that they will know the Lord their God. That they will serve the Lord their God. That they will know Him and know Him only. And do not know the Word, nor be a friend of this world. Father, we want to ask you for this, Lord, for great grace in Jesus Christ's name. Great compassion. 
in Jesus Christ's name. Three to go, guys. I want us to say this morning, save me. I declare that a double portion of the anointing shall rest upon my life in Jesus Christ's name. Save me this morning and save me. I declare that a double portion of the anointing shall rest upon my life in Jesus Christ's name. A double, double, a double portion of the anointing shall rest upon my life in Jesus Christ's name. Then I want us to say this morning, I declare that I will see new fruit in dead places and new abundance in previous barren places. That's, a, that's very important to say that. Come on, guys, to declare that out this morning. Save me. I declare that I will see new fruit in dead places and new abundance in previous barren places. I want to say it again. I declare that I will see new fruit in dead places and new abundance in previous barren places. Father, we thank you that all barren places in this day shall be whole, shall have life, shall not remain barren in the name of Jesus Christ. And we thank you, Lord, so it shall be in Jesus Christ's name. I want you just, just to say that, save me, barren places, come alive this morning, come alive in Jesus Christ's name and live again. Come alive in this day in Jesus Christ's name and live again. Almost there, save me one more thing. Say, I declare that this is the month of wonder. The month of acceleration that I will know the Lord. Save me. I declare that this is the month of wonder, the month of acceleration as I experience the goodness of the Lord. Save me. I declare that the goodness of the Lord is moving in onto my life in Jesus Christ's name. Father, I want to thank you, Lord, this morning. I want to pray for every single person. Lord, that there's nothing that is wasted. Guys, I feel this morning just to say to you, there's nothing that is wasted in your life. God is awesome in recycling stuff. And I want you just to know that there's nothing wasted in your life. There's nothing wasted. God uses the past. God uses the current. And He uses all for the future. There's nothing to be wasted. And you, as you are on with me this morning, you are a carrier of the Most High God. And you have to know that about yourself. You have the Holy Spirit living inside of you. Healing is your portion. Signs, wonders and miracles is what you are charged to do. And you are charged to spread this good news. Say with me this morning, I will not leave or I will not keep the good news just of me. I want you just to say that. Say with me, I will not keep the good news just of me. Now I want to ask you to ask the Lord something. I left it for the end because I want us to ask the Lord for this. The Bible declares that in the last days, my young men will see visions and old people will dream dreams. And the Spirit of the Lord will come upon all flesh. And I want us together this morning to ask the Lord to say, Lord, come upon me afresh and anew. Baptize me by your Holy Spirit. Luke uh, 24, 49, Acts 1, 8 and Romans 5, 5. Ask the, ask the Lord this morning. Let's ask the Lord, guys, as we are together. Let's ask the Lord this morning. Say, Holy Spirit. Come and baptize me afresh and anew. And then I want to pray for us for that. And I want you to, I want you to lift your hands where you are and to receive it this morning. Say, because guys, listen, I can tell you in the season that we're in right now, we need a baptism of power. We need a baptism of the Holy Spirit like no other season. We need a baptism of love. And towards towards people, we need we need more than ever before. We need a compassion. I almost want to say a baptism of compassion. We need to have great compassion of people. So won't you all, oh, there we are, lift your hands just for a moment. And don't let the devil pull the wrong you out of you. Uh, don't go there this week. Keep the peace. Keep the joy. Uh, stay with me. I feel so heavily to say this. So just lift your hands. There we are, guys. I want to pray for you very specifically for this. Um, you know, if I saw what the Lord did over this weekend, Man, a oh man, healing people, delivering people, uh, healing like deep-seated wounds. I think to myself, there's nothing that the Holy Spirit cannot do. He's so amazing. He's the best person you can ever meet, ever meet. It's more awesome than any person you'll meet. It's the person of the Holy Spirit. So lift your hands there we are, guys. And uh, Father, I want to pray this morning very simply. Father, I want to ask you for a fresh baptism of the Holy Spirit. Lord Holy Spirit, 
I want to ask you that you will come and infiltrate people's lives. Father, I want to pray, come and rest upon us afresh and anew. Father, I want to ask you in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you'll baptize us in the Holy Spirit and with fire. Secondly, Father, I want to ask you to baptize us with fresh love of the Holy Spirit. Lord, that we may love people with greater intensity and greater compassion in Jesus' name. For Lord, we know you have said, we shall love the Lord our God and we shall love people as ourselves. So Father, I want to pray there where the people are sitting, that they will be filled with new strength, but with a fresh baptism of the Holy Spirit in Jesus Christ's name. Lord, I want to pray, Lord, that they will know this, that they will experience this, that they will believe this with all of their heart and all that is within them. Father, I want to thank you, Lord, that you are the God, you are the God that refreshes people. I want to pray, Jesus, that right now that the fresh baptism will happen in people's lives, not by mind nor by power, but simply because we believe in Jesus. And Jesus said, I'm not evil that when you ask me for like this generation, if you ask me for the Holy Spirit, I'll give him to you. And so, Father, we want to ask you in the name of Jesus, give us more of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen and amen. I want to encourage you lastly, two things or three things from my side. One, I want to encourage you, uh, join us tonight for our time of spiritual warfare as we're going to pray again. And then after that, of course, we're going to go into EBI, uh, Cape Town that's online of us, Durban that is online of us. Guys, join us online at 6 o'clock for our time of spiritual warfare. Um, and uh, don't miss that. I'm very excited about EBI tonight. We're activating people in healing. Um, so can't wait for EBI. Very excited about it. The healing ministry of Jesus is the biggest ministry there is. And we all need to be partakers of that. Then I want to encourage you again, all the people that watch me from Durban, please go to Empower Church Durban, uh, to Pastor Ruan and Lana, uh, spiritual son and daughter of mine, 29 Salisbury uh, Avenue, Westville. 29 Salisbury Avenue, Westville. There's a lot of people that are still following me. I see that they are with us online. I want to encourage you, go there to the church, be there um, and don't miss out. Then in Power Church, Somerset West, all the Cape Townians that are on um, with me this morning as well. Guys, I want to encourage you, if you're in close to Cape Town, close to Somerset West, close to Gordons Bay, close to Paul, uh, close any in any of those regions, please go to uh, our church, in Power Church, Somerset West, and um, don't miss out what God is busy doing there. And that is at the corner of of Century and Ertel Crescent, the corner of Century and Ertel Crescent. And then lastly, I want to encourage all of you this morning, please take a moment, please like this transmission, please share this transmission, share the broadcast this morning, guys, and help us just to spread it out to more and more people. Um, and also, of course, you can send us stars this morning, stars is available for you, and that is just to help us to become better and better in what we do in terms of spreading the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ as we are doing online. So these are the things that you can do. Please like, please share, please comment and just get it out to other people. Last note but not least, as I will say, always as I say, guys you have to understand that you have a God that loves you scandalously, ridiculously, He's in love with you. And we just want to say to you once again in this day, we love you, we are praying for you, you are the head and not the tail and you're going to have an awesome Tuesday. Listen, here's a last key for you. Keep it in the day. Jesus says, today is enough for today. Live that type of life. Today is enough for today. God bless you. I love you. Thank you for praying with me again. And I'll see you on Friday as we pray again, once again. Have an awesome day, guys. Have an awesome Tuesday. And goodbye.